Hey everybody, welcome back to Royal Tarot Readings. This is my fun channel that I do for tarot readings on the royal family. All information presented in this video is for fun and entertainment purposes only. It's fun, it's tarot. I'm just a gal with cards. All right, so today we are going to talk about the jam scam. Oh my goodness, allegedly. Okay, so there was an interesting series of posts out. I think it was on either Twitter, X, or Instagram yesterday. I'll try to get the screenshots and I'll put them here for you. Um, but basically, someone directly asked the Small Batch Jam Company, which is a small company out there very near Montecito. I think it's about 30 or 40 miles away from there. They make small batches of jam and they have their own labels on them. And um, they, you know, make it using the fruit right from local farmers there. Someone directly asked them, did you provide the jam for Meghan Markle's 50 jars of jams that she sent out? And they categorically denied it. Not only did they deny it, they threw her some shade. <laughs> they said that they absolutely did not provide the jam for that and that they never would have... Um, <laughs> that the labels were so poorly put on the jars, they may have to put out a video for people on how to apply labels to a jar. <laughs> because the ones that we've seen posted on the internet show these labels that are coming off the jars. Now, the interesting thing about the jars is they are the exact shape and size of the jars that the small batch jam company uses. And I'll put those pictures here for you. So... That brings me to these questions. Let's, let's ask about Meghan Markle's jars of jam and whether they came from the Small Batch Jam Company. All right, so for this uh, reading, we're going to use the Lights Ears Tarot Deck by Chris Ann. Oops, <laughs> really pretty tarot deck. And it tends to shed light on things that you're unsure of. So let's take a look. All right, go ahead and get the deck out. Here we go. Pretty deck. And real quick, shuffle alert. If you don't like my shuffling, please do skip ahead. You won't hurt my feelings. It's totally okay. I just want you to enjoy the video. All right, so here are my questions. Did the jam that Meghan Markle sent out in her 50 jars, did that jam come from the small batch jam company? They may not be aware of it, but did that jam come from the small batch jam company? All right. Did Meghan Markle use their jars of jam um, and, and attach her own labels? The lab her labels look very similar to theirs. So, all right. So, did Meghan Markle use their jars of jam and just attach her own labels? Will the small batch jam company call her out? If they find out that's what happened, are they going to call her out on it? Are they going to call her out on that? All right, and then why did Meghan Markle do this? If she did this, why did she do it? Why did she do this? Eight of Cups in reverse, trying to release from a trap. Okay, all right. So why did Meghan Markle pull this sort of thing if that's exactly what she did? All right, oops. Seven of Wands. Oh, that's losing a... a that's losing, losing a fight. You're exhausted by all the fighting that's come up. Uh, attacks on you. Someone's been attacking you quite a lot and you're exhausted from it. All right. And next question is, is Meghan Markle going to do something similar with another product? If that's what she did, is she going to do something similar with another product? And did Harry know about this jam about these 50 jars of jam, did he know about them before they were sent out? Did he know that she was sending out 50 jars of jam to friends and influencers? And what will be the outcome of the jam scam? What's going to be the outcome of this? What is going to be the outcome for Meghan Markle? What's going to be the outcome? Oops. A bunch of them flipped over. Okay. What's going to be the outcome for Meghan Markle on the jam scam? The star. <laughs> she's gonna be a. Uh, she's gonna be in the public eye. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. So what's gonna be the outcome of the jam scam? All right. I think they're starting to get some action here. Okay. All right. We'll go ahead and cut. There we go. 
All right, let's see what we get here. We have seven questions. We will do seven cards. All right. There we go. All right. And on energy is, ooh, ooh, the king of pentacles in reverse. Ooh. Ooh, and the two of swords in reverse. Oh, and the hermit. Oh, my gosh. Okay. What's this other one? Oh, the wheel in reverse. Okay. Let's take all four of these. My goodness. Okay. All right. So the king of pentacles in reverse. Um, this is about a wealthy man um, being very angry. Wealthy man being very, very angry. Two of swords is about a very hard decision that had to be made. They didn't want to have to make it, but they've already made this decision. And then the hermit in reverse. Well, this is Harry. Harry's very angry. And this is the wheel, the wheel of fortune, bad luck. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. <laughs> what a lot of underlying energy. All right. Let's see what we got here. Um, did the jam, the 50 jars of jam that Meghan Markle sent out, did that jam come from the small batch jam company? The queen of cups in reverse. Okay. So the queen of cups, sometimes this is about Diana. Um, in reverse. So the Queen of Cups upright is about a very um, emotional, loving, caring woman. And in reverse, this is about uh, a woman who's very cold and very unemotional, doesn't care about what's going on. Hmm. So did the jam come from the jam company? The woman doesn't care. This woman doesn't care about where this jam came from. So I guess that's not a really a direct answer for me. Um, but we have a king of pentacles who's very angry. And there's a very hard decision that's been made. Uh, Harry's very angry. And this has brought bad luck on them. Hmm. Okay. Let's, let's look at the rest of the cards and see what comes out here. And if I don't get a direct answer, then I'm just going to have to I'll do the pendulum on this one too. All right. Did Meghan Markle use the jars of jam from the small batch jam company and use her own labels? The eight of wands in reverse. Oh, okay. So upright is about very fast energy, very fast moving energy. And in reverse, it's about um, obstacles that got put in the way. Obstacles that were put in the way and you yourself created the obstacles. Hmm. If she did, it was a very tedious process. This was a very tedious thing that was done. And it made the King of Pentacles really angry. It's a very hard decision. It's also about a very slow process as well. Did she use their jars of jam? She might have, and it was a very tedious process. And it made someone very angry. It made the King of Pentacles very angry. It was a hard decision that had to be made. And she made it, and then uh, Harry was angry about it, and it caused bad luck. It brought them bad luck. I think she did. And it was a very slow process. It was a very tedious process, and it was a hard decision to do this. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if she tried to make jam herself and couldn't do it and decided to do it that way. Is the small batch jam company going to call her out? Oh, ten of swords in reverse. That's about total ruin. That's about complete and total ruin. If they find out that's what she did, they are absolutely going to um, call her out and they're going to ruin her. Oh my goodness. Because the king of pentacles is extremely angry. This could be the owner of the small batch jam company. A very hard decision had to be made and they've made it. Harry's angry and it's bringing bad luck to them. This whole episode is bringing both of them bad luck, especially Harry. Harry feels like this is like a complete, he's not happy with this at all. This is something that he feels that they will never be able to get over. Hmm. All right. So why did Meghan Markle do this? Why did she do this? The page of wands. Because she wanted some good news. She wanted good news to come about out about them. She wanted uh, things to appear that um, she wanted the appearance to be that they were, um, were doing very well, that she was going to make a success of this company, of the jam, and that she could actually do something. But all she did was make the, um, the King of Pentacles very angry. 
And there's a very hard decision that's being made. It may be the King of Pentacles making this very hard decision. And it's going to hurt Harry. And it's going to it's going to continue their bad luck. Wow. All right. Next question. Is Meghan Markle going to do something similar with another product? Seven of Wands in reverse. That popped out while I was shuffling. Okay. So upright the Seven of Wands is about... Um, People are at you and at you. They're coming from all directions and you are defending yourself well, even though you didn't expect this battle. And in reverse, it's about being completely exhausted about people picking at you and picking at you all the time. Is she going to do something similar? I don't think so. Not only did it take her a really long time to do it, now she knows that people are going to pick at her about this. They're going to kind of scrutinize every move that she makes. And she knows um, that she's also got a very mad King of Pentacles after her. I think the owner of this company is going to come after her if they prove that's exactly what she did. Yep. Because there's a hard decision that, uh, that he had to make. All right. Did Harry know about the jam before it was released to the friends and influencers? He did. And he thought it was a great idea. Oh, my gosh. Look, we even have a little strawberry. Is it a strawberry or a heart? This is a Leo card. Did he know about it? He absolutely did. And he encouraged her to do it. But it's going to be their ruin, the both of them. It's just a, you know, they're, they've got ruin coming from so many places. I think this is just a continuation and an emphasis on the ruin. But if it's proved that's what they did, I mean, that's, allegedly, that's fraud. So, you know, you have a very angry king of pentacles here. They may come after them. All right, and what will be the outcome of the jam scam? Oh, judgment in reverse. Oh, my gosh. You know, they may get sued. And they're going to lose this lawsuit. Oh, wow. They may get sued, and there's no recovery from it. No coming back. No coming back. Wow, this may be the one thing she did that's going to completely take them down legally. Because that's fraud. Wow. Wow. Well, my goodness. Okay. I got a little bit more out of that than I expected. Um, all right. So did the jam come from the small batch jam company? And uh, the, the queen of cups here being so cold and unemotional about it, it could have, and she didn't care. She didn't care that that's where it came from. I'll ask with the pendulum at the end. Did Meghan Markle use the jars of jam and use her own labels? It looks like she did, because 50 jars of jam, taking the labels off and putting her own on, that takes time. My goodness. Looks like allegedly she might have done that. Allegedly. Will the small batch jam company call her out? They, if, they find, if they have proof that's what she did, they absolutely will, and they'll ruin her. They'll ruin her, and there's no coming back. That's complete and total ruin. And then... Um, why did Meghan Markle do this? She wanted to seem like good things were happening. She's like, see, I am, I do have great ideas. I can do things. She wanted to seem like that there was good news out there about them. All right. And is Meghan Markle going to be, is she going to do something similar with another product? I don't think she will. She's like, I got beat up about this. I'm not going to do that again. So, and she knows how long it took as well. It was a very tedious process. Did Harry know about the jam before it was released? He absolutely did. He encouraged her to do it. She told him, because that's her card. I'm just going to end up in the ruin of the both of them. And then what will be the outcome of the jam scam? They're going to receive a judgment they're not going to like, and there's no coming back from it. This is, this is a legal judgment, so they may get sued. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hang on one second. I forgot to do the pendulum work on this card, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. We are going to look at the pendulum. All right. Okay, we'll get the pendulum mat out. There we go. We will put it upright like this. There we go. Okay. So I want to clarify the first, whoops, the first question that I had. All right. So did Meghan Markle get her jam that she sent out? Did she get that jam from the Small Batch Jam Company in California? 
Did Meghan Markle get her jam? Oh my God, an immediate yes. Oh my God. Not even a hesitation. She absolutely did. Did she take the, the labels off their jars and put, them, put her own label on? Is that what she did? Did she take the labels off the original jars and put her own labels on? Is that what she did? She sure did. Oh my gosh. Allegedly. Okay. That answers my question. Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. All right. There you go. There's the answer. Thank you so much, everyone, for enjoying me, for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that reading and the pendulum. And if you did, why, well, please like and share. And if you're a new subscriber, why, well, thank you so much. I just love all my subscribers. Thank you for joining us. I hope you're enjoying the readings. Do drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. But do keep the comments respectful. And if you're not a subscriber, well, you need to subscribe. Come on, join us. We have a great community here, and I know you'll have a lot of fun with us. So just come on over and join the fun. Thanks so much, everybody. I put one reading out earlier. You have this one. I have one more I'm hoping to get out before this evening is over. Um, hope you enjoy all of them, and we'll see you again soon on Royal Terror Readings. Bye-bye, everybody.